Hello friends, my name is Shayla, and this guy's Steve, and we're going on an adventure. So, tonight's adventure includes Steven and I going to the early showing of Warcraft! Yay! So, Steve's birthday is tomorrow, the 10th. Old man. He's turning 35. He's not that old. So anyway, our plan is to go and see this movie, and then tomorrow night we'll go do birthday dinner, that kind of stuff. But we wanted to see the movie, and we didn't want to cram it all into one day, so we're going tonight. And being a noob to Warcraft as I am, soon we'll have a movie coming of me going through a dungeon, because I'm sure you guys will all laugh and find it highly entertaining. But Steve here is a veteran Warcraft player. So I thought it would be cool to get both of our perspectives on the movie. So I'm going in knowing pretty much nothing about it other than it's Warcraft. And Steve, I'm sure, knows the entire storyline because I hear it's based on the first game, correct? Correct. Okay. So that's the plan for tonight. We are excited. We are on our way. We will get our snacks and we will enjoy this movie. And then when we get out, we will share our thoughts. So we'll see you soon. Have I told y'all that he's just my favorite? Goofball and all, he's my favorite. I'm so glad he was born. Whee! Oh, he's so handsome. So handsome. Handsome dude. Crazy wife. Mm, crazy man who married the crazy woman. Ah, crazy woman who said yes. Crazy man who asked. Of course I asked. Are you close to yourself recently? <laughs> You're adorable. You're adorable. No, that's You're you. You're adorable and amazing and everything in between. Aww, gushy warm feelings oozing from my heart. Sir, I don't say anything. It hides under my blouse. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> don't go to dirty land. Dirty man. No. I love you. Love you. So guys, we're back from the movie and we're here to kind of discuss our thoughts and feelings about it. So why don't you go first? He's the diehard, I'm the noob, so we'll let him go first. I enjoyed it. It was a good movie. It held very well to the original game and it also held to, uh, there's been some things which have been better explained in later versions of the World of Warcraft lore and they all held uh, true for this. There were some things that I was afraid they were going to try and stick directly to how the original game tried to explain it, uh, but later games explained better. But this one, it stuck to you know the, the, the most current version of the lores. So it was, it was great to watch that. It was, it was great to see that they didn't try to shortcut any of that. So it's very true to the way that you know, the game presents itself as far as the storylines that happen. But the movie, compared to World of Warcraft, is probably about 40 years in the past. It was, it was a fun fun movie. It was, it was a little bit intense graphically a little bit at times, but other than that, it was pretty good. Okay, so me coming at it as a noob, I went in basically knowing nothing of this story. So from my perspective, I enjoyed it. But I also enjoy fantasy in general, so that might play into my opinion. But this does make me want to go and explore World of Warcraft a little bit more because even though I've, I'm like a level 14 hunter, like I'm such a noob it's not even funny. I got to see bits and pieces of what I've played already and that made me want to go and explore this extremely beautiful world even more. So I do plan on continuing with the game and it made me more excited about the game and I do think that's kind of what Blizzard was after. They want to stir up love and knowledge of the game because there's always been this, at least where we live, there's always been this taboo of being somebody who plays World of Warcraft. You know, you're going to immediately get addicted and it's going to be all you want to do and mm -hmm. it, you know, people are very afraid of that because in the past people have fallen into that trap. But I think for me, being the person that I am, I'd much rather read a book than play a video game, but when I want to play a video game, I'm probably going to be playing World of Warcraft for the next little while. So for me, it was very enjoyable. 
parts of the story didn't quite click till the very, very end, and that was slightly frustrating for me. I think somebody who's a fan of the series, you know, and has played all the games and knows what to expect, they could fill in the blanks. But for oh, me, for, for as somebody who knew nothing about the story, it was hard for me when some of those things didn't quite click. I mean, there were a few times where I leaned over to confirm something with Steve that I was thinking, and that helped. Or he would correct me and say, no, that's not it, and whatever. And So for me, having somebody who knows the series really well did help me in my experience of enjoyment. Now, through the last half hour, 45 minutes of the movie, probably, I was on the edge of my seat. I did enjoy this movie. I was, you know, there was nobody sitting in front of us. And so I was just kind of leaning on the chairs in, on the row in front of us. And I just focused on the movie because a lot was going on at that time. And so it was really, I found it very important to just zero out everything in focus. I turned off my phone during this movie, which I usually just put my phone on vibrate, but it was completely off. I didn't want any distractions because I wanted to go into this and fully immerse myself in it. I didn't want any distractions. So for me, my overall enjoyment on a scale of five stars, I would give this movie a four, 4.5 stars. I found it to be a solid fantasy movie. If you enjoy fantasy at all, but haven't really played World of Warcraft, you would probably still enjoy it because it has this full, rich and robust world. It has a full, rich, full, rich and robust um, story and you get bits and pieces of the story. There were parts of the story where it just rips your heart out and you don't understand why until later. And it's it was really enjoyable. Like I said, I recommend the movie. I really liked it. Um, my mom would not like this. <laughs> it, it is slightly more violent than something my mother would enjoy. Um, she had a hard time with Lord of the Rings kind of violence. And this one was amplified. It was more graphic than that. So I think that's a really good gauge for people. If the Lord of the Rings stuff made you kind of, it was kind of rough for you, I would not recommend Warcraft for that reason. Because there is quite a bit of battling and it gets fairly graphic. So if that's something that is hard for you, I would pass on this particular one. Go play the game because you can censor that a little bit more for yourself. So those are my initial thoughts. I did think it was perfectly cast as well, but I went into this totally blind. The, the characters were well cast. Um, I didn't have a problem with anyone that they chose. Oh, their um, attention to detail, though, was immaculate. Like, from what I've played in the game and the characters that I interacted with and experienced, like, their attention to detail was spot on. Oh, it, it, it and I will things... give them credit to the ends of the earth for that. At, at the very end, there's a shot from a river. There is a um, fishing line with a bobber at the end tied to a, tied to a uh, stick um, that was just leaning over the, the, the water. And the bobber at the end is the exact same bobber you use when you're playing World of Warcraft. And it's just little things like that that just, you know, you, you just feel at home when you're watching this movie if you're someone who plays World of Warcraft a lot. Or plays any of the Warcraft movies because you you came home. I mean, this you spend hours upon hours upon hours in this other world, and to watch it in full detail on the big screen was a very enjoyable experience because you did feel at home. You 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 recognized everything that uh, you were running into. So it was an enjoyable experience in that regard. And being a noob, you know, for the most part, the story did make sense. Like I said, there was just those couple of parts. And they weren't really anything that were a big deal. They weren't super important. I, my attention to detail is a little bit insane. So I think that's probably why the story didn't quite click till the very end for me. But I did enjoy it. So overall, we as a couple, and Khaled and the Crazy, crazy Cat, crazy cat. Um, recommend this movie. We think you should go check it out. It is enjoyable. And we really haven't said anything spoilery, so we haven't spoiled anything for you. Just go and enjoy the beautiful, beautiful detail and the the way they did the orcs, the way they, um, I don't know if they motion captured it and then 
put a digital image on it. I'm not 100% sure, but whatever they did, it is immaculate. Oh, it is fantastic. I really enjoyed the way that all of that flowed. Like, it didn't feel jumpy. Nobody felt like they shouldn't be there. Like, it was just the right time and the right technology for them to make this movie. I agree. Okay. Well, that's it. It's after 10 o'clock. We're going to bed. Night, guys.